Good afternoon and welcome to another video tutorial from irishninjas.com on using your Drupal website. Tonight's episode we will be going over how to uh, edit basic content um, and this is specifically uh, directed towards one of my clients at Powerband Communications. Uh, they sell uh, phone systems for businesses and they are wanting to update some content as far as uh, what uh, some of the newer packages they have to offer and some of their prices and some maybe some of the um, images on the website. So the first thing you're going to notice when you go to the website is you've got your address here in the address bar www.powerbandphones.com um, I'm using Mozilla Firefox browser uh, and the way that this website is set up we've got a menu bar across the top with drop downs to various other parts of the site uh, these drop downs are categorized and then by uh, what type of article they are linked to what type of page they're linked to and then we uh, uh, sub categorize them under that main heading so I'll get it get to that a little bit later um, the first thing you're going to want to do um, is log into the website. So what we're going to do is type uh, user in at the end of the URL across the top. With any Drupal website, this will get to the user login page if it's not shown uh, publicly on the front page. Just a little hint there for you Drupal Power users. Um, so what I'm going to do is log in and what I've done is created a test account just for today's tutorial which I'll then delete um, after the client has uh, been through training so uh, typed in the uh, username there go ahead and type in the password log in and once we're logged in you'll notice across the top here we've got a new menu now this is called a simple menu it's a module from Drupal that allows uh, administrators to quickly access uh, the administrative and creation parts of the website. Uh, for today's tutorial, we'll use some of these across the top in just a few minutes. Uh, but for now, we're going to go through some basic editing of the website. I'm going to go back to the home page and looking at the home page we've got several things going on here one we've got the header here the header is actually an image that's laid into a block that shows up on all pages the next section we've got is a slideshow that I've created and the slideshow uh, is also in a block for the home page uh, blocks are edited elsewhere uh, what we're going to go focus on right now is the actual copy content of the node so I'm going to scroll on down here to the bottom and when you're logged in anything that you can edit as far as pages go will have a view edit tab across the top of where your normal header would be for that article so I'm going to go ahead and click on edit from there I'm going to have a screen come up that has a bunch of fields that I can fill out and you'll notice we've titled the home page called the right choice now, this is something the client wanted uh, he's, he's wanting to convey the message to uh, possible customers that they are the right choice for any of your business phone needs um, as you can see the home page has not been categorized there's no reason for it to be categorized it is a static page that doesn't uh, see a lot of uh, edits uh, over time so we're not we're going to go ahead and leave that blank but if you were to categorize this you could put it in and I'll show you that a little bit later in the in the tutorial um, once we scroll down you'll see we've got a menu link now usually on a new one this is collapsed so I'm going to go ahead and open that up and this word that you see home is actually what shows up right up here in the top menu so you type that in and then you see parent item a parent item is a for this is primary links your primary links are these right across the top not the drop downs themselves but the ones across the top here this is your primary link section on this particular website so as you can see 
we've set that to be shown in the primary links uh, area of the website. Now as we get down to the copy text of this particular page, you'll see we've got this set up in a what you call a what you see is what you get editor or graphical editor. This is similar to a word processor. What you can do here is basically type in anything that you want to show up on the page. Uh, obviously I'm not going to save this but just for illustration purposes I'm just going to show you here we can put anything in that we need punctuate it hit enter make a new paragraph fairly simple uh, if we wanted to bold that text we just highlight it and hit bold italicize underline uh, we could change the size to larger whatever we need to do if we if we need to link it you can click the, the uh, insert chain link here uh, little icon that's going to bring up where you put your URL in for sake of the illustration here I'm going to put in Google uh, we've just made that link where it will link out to Google uh, pretty fairly easy stuff you can edit anything that's on the site I'm going to go ahead and put that back like it was uh, if you wanted to throw a picture in you would click left of the paragraph hit the picture button that's going to go bring up a web uh, page here we're going to hit browse server browse server is going to bring up and I'll, let me resize this to the to the video it'll bring up a window that allows us to upload files from our drive and as you can see here um, we'll go ahead and get to power bands uh, folder if I wanted to upload this earth icon I could just click on that hit OK hit upload and that's going to upload it to the server scroll down go ahead and click on the icon and if I want to align that to the left and indent or to the right and indent we can do that I'm going to go ahead and try it to the left just to see what we what we've got here see what it looks like and hit OK uh, once we're done with that you've got several selections down here for the main part of this argument uh, or, um, excuse me this presentation everything is already done in full HTML we have a filtered HTML that does smart tagging if you were to write out an email address in plain text and it automatically turned it into uh, an email address uh, you can use this and it works much in the same fashion I, ha I highly suggest you use full HTML uh, as it's a little more uh, flexible on what you can put in the content uh, revision information is not used a whole lot unless you're doing some uh, very uh, updated content all the time such as blogs or writing uh, formal drafts uh, and you want to review them and that kind of thing with other users for this purpose we've, we've got one user on this website it's not really necessary uh, the comment settings are disabled if we wanted to we could set it to read and write people would actually be able to go to this page and comment on it and it would be moderated by the user um, the authoring information <coughs> on this particular theme it doesn't show up on the page once it's posted so uh, this can be anything in here usually leave that alone and then publishing options a, a lot of people will use the preview button to preview their content I don't advise using that I would actually unpublish and hit save and view the page until you got it right and then when you're ready to save it published go ahead and check mark published and hit save and that's it now you'll see we've got the little globe in here um, inset into the paragraph we've got all our verbiage here it's ready to go and we've updated the first page now I'm going to go ahead and re-edit that take the globe out because it doesn't belong there it's just for illustration purposes only scroll down hit save and there we go so now that's how you edit the website, edit pages on the site. You can edit any page you want to. Um, if we go here to Internet Services and we want to edit the cable internet page, we'll go ahead and click on cable internet. 
we can go down here and hit edit uh, that's going to bring up our content down at the bottom if we wanted to change any of this say the, the new speeds for for cable internet were 12 instead of 10 we could change it to 12 um, this is in a table you can add tables most of this information has already been pre-written so we're not going to mess with it a whole lot the point is is you can you can change it fairly easily with the graphical uh, editor go ahead and save that and that's that's about it for basic edits so thanks for listening I'm gonna go on and do part two of this training video which will be for new content and how to arrange the menus across the top thanks